Hey there film fans, today I'm going to talk to you about the sequel to 2014's John Wick, imaginatively titled John Wick 2. In 2014's John Wick, John Wick, as portrayed by the ever emotive Keanu Reeves, his wife dies, his dog is then murdered, Lily Allen's brother dies, and he kills everyone. It was a pretty good film. It was nice to look at and simple and lots of violent action. In this one, Italian bloke comes along, burns down his house, destroys the photos of his dead wife, but not the dog this time. Wick has got two options at this point. He can either go to Tesco's and print out some new pictures or kill everyone. And let's face it, the first option would have been a very short film, right? Now, as I say, the first film, simple, stylish, fun. This one, no, not so much for me. I did not really enjoy this film. I actually spent my time intermittently laughing or feeling bored and not laughing in a good way. I think with the action genre, as soon as it loses you and you start to find it ridiculous and funny, you, you're lost really, you're not gonna come back from there. Basically the strategy for this is we take a minimal film and then we just do more of everything, like up the acting, because there wasn't that much dialogue in the first one that I remember. And dialogue is so bad. The visuals last time were quite impressive and they kind of knew that, so they tried to replicate it with like, there was a very good scene in the first one in a nightclub, so there's two kind of nightclub-y fight scenes in this one, neither of which are quite as impactful. There's one standoff sequence in particular that is ridiculous and laughable. Um, very, it's just stupid. Not in a good way. This is not fun action, this is not stupid mindless fun action, this is like what is happening, this is crazy. I'm a big fan of the Bill and Ted franchise, but Keanu Reeves sometimes doesn't deliver the acting so great but in this everybody's pretty bad like evenly you've got ruby rose who's like a mute female killer um just really awkward sub like there's a thing about subtitles as well because they've got all these like equal opportunity baddies from every different color creed place in the world disability, um, but they, they have to subtitle them, but the subtitles come up in this big font. And I think they did that in the first one, but it's really like irritatingly stylized in this. Even though Ruby Rose is a mute, she's still got crap dialogue in subtitles. Lawrence Fishbourne's in it, he's pants. Ian McShane Lovejoy's in it, and he's probably the only person who doesn't make me want to punch the screen. Very excited for the forthcoming American Gods. It's consciously like a video game, and I'm not saying that in a good way this time. Video game movies are generally a bit pants. And for me, this didn't work. I know some people have quite liked it. I did not enjoy John Wick 2. I did not enjoy my experience. Um, and there's clearly going to be more of them. And I felt that John Wick on its own was quite a good standalone film. So, yeah, not too impressed. But what did you guys think? Did you enjoy it a bit more than me? Probably, because I didn't really like it at all. Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.